have here is a Sundance rim. And what I really like about this Sundance rim is it is very, very thick steel. And this is the same bolt pattern as Cavalier, Neon, HHR, well, HHR when it's modified, Subaru, anything like that. This is a 5x100 bolt pattern. Now, this tire has been through a lot. If, if I'm not mistaken, this tire and me and Cassandra as a derby career probably has about four demolition derbies on it. And it has probably about 15 figure eight races on it. It's showing some worse for wear, but overall it is still in really great shape. As you can see, the rim has been dinged and dented, but not to the point where it's been wrecked. I'd like to protect this tire a little bit. And this was brought up by a buddy named Blair who watches this YouTube channel. And he suggested this video, and I think it's a great idea. You guys seen how you double a tire? Now what I'm going to show you is how to put an extra skin on the outer wall. Now this is much, much easier than doubling a tire, and you don't really need a tube. What the extra skin on the outside wall does is if somebody comes in with a sharp object, it's going to pierce the outside skin of this tire before it damages anything to do with this tire. And it actually helps the tire stay alive a lot longer from small puncture wounds that would actually kill this tire to begin with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the inside wall of this tire out. And it seems like a hard task, but it's really not that hard. We're going to use this tire machine just because it helps hold the tire. And all we're going to use is an X-Acto knife. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig the knife in right at the top of the sidewall where the treads begin. So just dig it in and bring it back. Bring it in. Make sure your hands are clear from the bottom side. What you want to do is you want to avoid all the steel bands which I just hit. So just go a little bit lower. You want to basically cut the sidewall out of the tire. There, just like that. So now, we have this on the tire machine, one, because it helps hold the tire, and two, because I can spin it. Nope, wrong way. Yes, this is pretty much going to kill your X-Acto knife, so make sure you guys are willing to deal with a dead blade. Just like that, that is all you need for a sidewall protector. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop the outer bead off of this. So you pull the valve stem, you can do it like any other tire, just pull the outside rim bead off. Just like that. Now you don't need to take the inner bead off for this. The tire machine's a little slow. It's the reason why I got it for as cheap as I did. Now with the outer bead popped, just peel the tire down, take this new bead, sorry, the new outer rim, and just place it on there just as if you were going to put a tire onto the machine. And then just put it on. Just like any other tire. This is a lot easier than doubling. Just like that.
Now you just want to center the outer ring. Because it's not an actual rim, it's a little bit, requires a little bit of work to center. Once it's centered, put your stem back in and then add your air. That's as easy as it is to put these outer rim, outer tire protectors on there. Just like that, that's how you're able to do this. Now, these have a different set of rules here in Ontario. And the reason why they have a different set of rules is because these have a nasty habit of getting ripped apart and thrown into the stands. So here in Ontario, we are allowed to run these, but we're not allowed to run these on drive tires. So on a front wheel drive, we cannot have these on the front of the car, and on a rear wheel drive, we cannot have these on the back of the car. But these do help out. In some places, they do allow it. A lot of the places down in the US, I know they do allow it. And this does do a lot of help for these tires. Now, you can choose to tube these tires or not tube them. That is your call. But I don't really even see a need to tube them when you do this. But if you take a look, that is a pretty thick side of a tire that will actually protect your actual tire. 